eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. May the love and mercy of God be with you. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 7, verses 1 to 2, then verse 10, then 25 to 30. At that time, Jesus went about in Galilee. He would not go about in Judea, because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand, but after his brethren had gone up to the feast, then he also went up, not publicly, but in private. Some of the people of Jerusalem therefore said, Is not this the man whom they seek to kill? And here he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Can it be that the authorities really know that this is the Christ? Yet you will know where this man comes from. And when the Christ appears, no one will know where he comes from. So Jesus proclaimed, as he taught in the temple, You know me, and you know where I come from, but I have not come of my own accord. He who sent me is true, and him you do not know. I know him, for I come from him, and he sent me. So they sought to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him, because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. A dear good listener, having listened to today's Gospel text, I have chosen the theme, Nothing Should Stop You from proclaiming the gospel. My dear good listener, from the gospel text we have listened to, it is clearly indicated that the Jews were seeking to kill Jesus. And so even the people of Jerusalem knew about it. They say, is not this the man whom they seek to kill? Jesus was aware about this. But one factor that is important to mention, to mention is that while people were seeking to kill Jesus, Jesus, on the other hand, was not scared. He still did the will of God the Father. That's why he says, I have not come of my own accord. You sent me is true, and him you do not know. So Jesus comes to bear witness to his Father, but he comes resolved to meet all the challenges. Challenges like plotting to kill him. So we see everything completely in a mess, but Jesus is resolved to do God's will, even to the time of death. My dear good listener, the world today, more than ever, is looking for priests, is looking for the religious, is looking for holy men and women who walk the talk. And in the history of the world, there is no one who has walked the talk like Jesus. So you and I are called to emulate him. That's why St. Faustina, the daily number 1195, is resolved to follow Jesus no matter what will happen to her. She says, Oh my Jesus, nothing can lower my ideals. That is the love which I have for you. Although the path is very thorny, I do not fear to go ahead. Even if a hailstorm of persecution covers me, even if my friends forsake me, even if all things conspire against me, and the horizon grows dark, even if a raging storm breaks out, and I feel I am quite alone and must brave it all, still fully at peace, I will trust in your mercy, O oh my God, and my hope will not be disappointed. My dear good listener, we need to make such resolutions in life. You and I have been called in a very special way to proclaim the gospel. So we see Jesus in the gospel text that is not stopped. 
by those who are plotting to kill him, he still openly proclaims God's message of salvation. My dear good listener, Pope Francis, in an encyclical Evangelium Gaudium, or the Joy of the Gospel, paragraph 120, he says, In virtue of their baptism, all the members of the people of God have become missionary disciples. All the baptized, whatever their position in the church, or their level of instruction in the faith, are agents of evangelization. Therefore, we have no excuse whatsoever. There is nothing that should bar us from proclaiming God's message if we are baptized. In paragraph 23, Pope Francis says, The joy of the gospel, in fidelity to the example of the master, it is virtually important for the church today to go forth and preach the gospel to all, all places, on all occasions, without hesitation, reluctance, or fear. The joy of the gospel is for all people. No one can be excluded. So, my dear good listener, may we, like Jesus, not fear. We have all been baptized to go and proclaim God's message of salvation. All people in different circumstances of their life. The Lord be with you. And may the God of love and mercy bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and also share this good news with your friends. I wish you the best of the day. Have mercy on us and on the whole